Hello! In this new video I'm going to show you how to record uh, the multi-template matching plugin uh, using the macro recorder to make your own custom uh, macro or kind of image processing workflow. Um, so as you know the template matching plugins are distributed in like three different versions uh, which are basically different inputs. So I previously showed this one which is using as input already open image. So let me run it quickly. Um, yeah, this one. And if now I execute it uh, on just a few slice here, we get uh, the recorded uh, expression here. Um, so this I can delete now. You can also record this template matching folder, which is taking uh, file pass or folder pass as um, um, inputs um, and if I execute it then you see that the command will also get recorded here we go so let, and then if you click create this is uh, opening directly the um, macros or the script editor so let's just keep what we want um, so as you can see, the second one is quite long, but it's just because that the, the argument of the pass was a bit long. And so if now, let's say you want to reuse it for your own purpose, uh, in the first case, you will need to replace this uh, template uh, parameter with the name of the image you want to use and the same for uh, the image. And uh, the rest of the parameter, you can either edit there or record again with the new set of parameters. Um, here again, you would replace the path to the template or to the uh, folder, to the image folder containing the templates with uh, custom uh, template values. Yeah, and here you recognize some uh, of the parameters. Um, there is a third version of uh, the plugins which is this template matching list image which has this nice um, list file input which is quite convenient because you can individually individually select images unfortunately those two um, types of input are not yet macro recordable in Fiji so we, we're going to stick to those two um, so yeah this, this second version uh, using the folder input is very convenient because you can do kind of patch processing um, but now I will uh, show you how to use the first one to make um, kind of custom two-step template matching and what do I mean by two-step template matching well the idea is to use a first kind of um, large template uh, for which it's quite sure that it's going to work so let's say we first detect the head in the zebra fish larvae and then within the head, we, within the detected head, we are going to uh, find a smaller object, which will be the eye. And uh, using this approach, uh, the success of the detection of such a small object might be increased. Um, in this case, it might be uh, this particular case. It might be that using uh, just the the eyes uh, might be sufficient, but for some application where using like a very small templates and uh, image which have like uh, a variety of gray level it might be that it's quite hard actually to uh, match the right object so a two-step approach uh, can be uh, beneficial um, so i made a custom macro using the macro recorder um, here we go uh, the, ma the macro itself is actually available on the GitHub repository uh, together with the rest of the macro and it's this uh, two-step template matching.igm so um, maybe let's uh, run it and then we'll go through the code so for this macro I define here three inputs uh, the first one is the first like big template that we want to use in this case the head then the second template for the second search would be the eye and finally um, we are going to uh, do the search in this uh, image stack um, 
if I can, well, maybe let me just show you. So we are calling twice, of course, because we do two-step template matching. We're calling twi twice the command. So the first command is here. Um, as you can see, I'm using a template one, the head, um, using the image stack, and I expect one object. And in the second call, um, I'm just looping over the previous detection of the head and uh, limiting uh, the search region to what to uh, to this uh, region of the head and using the second template expecting two objects in each image two eyes right and then it's just uh, basically renaming the region of interest and adjusting the display so okay let's run it um, so head I um, I didn't mention it, but for the second uh, template matching, I'm also flipping vertically the eye because um, so if I flip this one vertically, then uh, I can actually match both of the eyes. All right. And clicking up now. All right. So let's run it. So we now we just have a few slices, but you see that we just do first head detection and then a second detection is happening. So you see for each image, there are two detection and uh, and one using the initial and one using the uh, flipped version of the template, which makes sense. And again, now if I click this one, you can see that both eyes were indeed detected. All right, so um, yeah, that was an illustration of um, a possible use of the macro recording to use in custom uh, kind of uh, macro and uh, processing, we could think of other uh, applications. Um, yeah, so kind of uh, free to imagine um, other cases and I hope you find it useful. Thank you for your attention.